Now, Donald Trump does not like either of us, but he might dislike you more because I tell jokes about him, but you sue him. And wow. sometimes, sometimes you sue him to the point that he has to give up money, and he likes that a lot. Uh, no, but you mocked him and humiliated him in his hair on national TV. I don't know, Seth. It's yeah, a, they're it's a, a little of both. Let's call. Uh, now, you have, uh, you have sued him in the past. You sued Trump University for fraud. He uh, swore he would never settle that. Uh, he was elected president. He did settle it. Uh, originally, you guys were looking into Trump University because you just wanted him to take away the name university, right? Well, we were looking at for-profit colleges generally, and there were problems with for-profit colleges ripping people off. Actually, we've sued the uh, Tr Department of e Federal Department of Education for trying to remove rules that would protect students from being ripped off by for-profit colleges a couple of weeks ago. And we were looking at for-profit colleges, and there was Trump University hanging out there like with a neon sign on it saying, yeah. fraud here. Yeah. And uh, uh, we attempted to negotiate a settlement. That failed. And so in the summer of 2013, we sued him. And uh, that's when our relationship took a turn for the worse. Yeah. <laughs> um, he has mentioned you on Twitter a couple of times. Um, uh, not very kindly. Uh, here's one lightweight AG Eric Schneiderman is perhaps the most incompetent, least respected AG in the U.S. He's a total joke. Lightweight A.G. Schneiderman. He used your Twitter handle that time. That's very nice. He wanted to make sure you saw it. Just got his ass kicked by Trump. And then uh, it's Thursday. I like, by the way, when he tells you what day it is. Um, it's Thursday. What brand of eyeliner is the nation's worst A.G. wearing today? Yes. Now, do you take it as a, as a, a, a point of pride when uh, someone like this attacks well, you on Twitter? It, look, it was very unusual. I mean, we sue uh, a lot of people for fraud. I'd never seen the sort of scorched earth approach he brought to it. He set up a website to attack me, uh, sued me for $100 million, filed phony ethics complaints against me. The uh, uh, full front page of his son-in-law's newspaper, The Observer, was, oh, Yeah, yes. here you go. This is uh, Jared Kushner's, Jared Kushner's newspaper. Uh, and that's you right there. That's, that, that's me with the eyeliner as that's the, the Malcolm McDowell character in the Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Eric. So in, in retrospect, I didn't realize it was 2013, I got a preview of the scorched earth he brought to the campaign last year, because before there was Line Ted and Little Marco, there was Clockwork Eric. But yeah. this is the approach he brings to litigation and the approach he brings to politics. Now, no matter what happened on election night, you were going to have Donald Trump in your life, because all his businesses, he has so much stuff in New York, you were in, uh, you're still uh, looking into his foundation. Uh, you were looking into his university. But now you're actually having to sue Donald Trump as a person who's representing the federal government. Uh, tell me some of the things that you've had to do uh, to defend against Donald Trump's actions already. Oh, sure. Well, well, in terms of public policy, we have sued them over their refusal to keep toxic pesticides out of kids' food. We have sued them for their uh, efforts to dismantle the cost-sharing subsidies under the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, which is still, as we sit here tonight, the law of the land. Yeah, and, we'll see how uh, and, <laughs> we'll see how long. Yeah. And and I think we'll remain so. But w but the Trump administration won't defend any of the Obama era policies. So I've intervened and sued, and other AGs have intervened and sued. We are taking up the cause where they won't they won't defend any of the Obama era policies on climate change. You mentioned the EPA at the top of the show. They got a bunch of climate change deniers in charge of the EPA. So we are now defending the Clean Power Plan, other Obama-era initiatives, and we're suing them for their failure to uh, provide protection for students who get ripped off by still existing for-profit colleges. So we're going after them, but it's all policy. It's, it's not about him personally. It's all on the merits, but there are a lot of merits <laughs> these yeah. days. Yeah. Uh, and you talk about, you know, one of the things you're doing is defending. You're defending policies and the legal basis of those policies. It seems like what people want of you, what a certain amount of people want of you, is that your legal investigation, your legal work will lead to some grand impeachment. That this uh, is, uh, is one of the things that people like you need to do. Is it sort of wishful thinking? And do Democrats in general need to step back from this idea that impeachment is something that's going to happen, and that impeachment is something that's going to come about by legal means? Well, well, no. I think you have to separate it out. The first, our first job is to protect the people we represent from these horrendous public policies that pour out of Washington like a bad idea, toxic volcano. I mean, every day there's some new bad public policy that would hurt people. We're going to protect them. As to misconduct by the Trump campaign colluding with Russia or, you know, allegations of money laundering by people around the president, those are separate investigations. Those are going forward. But I do think it is important for Democrats to recognize that there is no substitute for the hard work at the end of the day 
of electing good people, and we have to go back and elect good people from the grassroots up in order to get this country back on track. Okay. I... But let it never be said that uh, attorney generals can't have some fun. I want, if you could real quick, explain to us, you had an Operation Wrecking Ball? Uh, we and, did. And can you tell us how you came to the title Operation Wrecking Ball? How yeah, you came to name it? Yeah, that? this was a, uh, an organized crime task force uh, investigation of a dr gang that was dealing guns and drugs uh, in uh, upstate New York, and uh, they apparently were Mo Miley Cyrus fans, and their the code word for cocaine was Miley Cyrus, so... We took a Miley Cyrus f uh, song, called it Operation Wrecking Ball, and busted all of them. <laughs> there you go. Well, congratulations on that. Thank and you. Uh, thank you for all your hard work. Keep it up. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Attorney General Eric Chani.